Hello, in this video I am going to demonstrate how you can request a website to be unblocked if Lightspeed blocks the website and you find that there is instructional value and there's not any inappropriate material on the website. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a website that I know is blocked, www.games.com. And when I do, I get the Lightspeed website comes up. And it says, sorry, this has been blocked because it's categorized as gambling. Um, so you notice that there is a link here to submit site for review. And if you click on this link and submit this site for review, it is going to go directly to Lightspeed. Uh, nobody in our district will be given any information about this request. And the timeline as to when that request will be fulfilled is unknown and there is not a way for us to figure that out. So it could take a couple of days, it could take a week before um, the site is looked at and information may or may not be sent back to the teacher. So a better way to go about submitting your site would be to go to our Castleberry homepage. So I'm going to go to this tab where I've already got Castleberry opened up. And if you mouse over staff, you can go down and we can go to Eduphoria. Um, in Eduphoria, you're going to log in using your email and your uh, address. And we're going to go down and we're going to put in a help desk request. Once you open up your help desk, you're going to come and say create a new request. And you're going to select technology. Here we get several different categories uh, listed, but we're going to scroll down and find this one right here that says website access. And we're going to click on that. And you'll notice you have two options here. If you were to find a, a website that had inappropriate material that you think needs to be blocked, you most certainly could click block a site and submit that uh, uh, URL. Or you can open a site that's being blocked. And so we're going to look at how to open a site. You're going to select your campus. You're going to select your room number. You're going to type in your phone extension. And then you're going to type in the web address. And then along with that, you need to type in the reason why this should be unblocked. Without knowing why it should be unblocked, our network administrator may not know why the website needs to be turned on. So you need to give the reason why you think this should be unblocked and the instructional activity needs to be listed that you will be using with your students. Once you have those in, you will submit the request. And once the request is submitted, our network administrator will get uh, back to you within 24 hours. So remember, uh, this is something that does take a day or so of turnaround. So you want to make sure in your planning that you are checking these websites ahead of time. Make sure you and your students can access them. And if they are blocked, then certainly you can submit that to the network administrator. Thank you so much.